England almost became Muslim. England and the topic of Islam is one that's barely ever covered by the news, so I thought I'd add to that. <laughs> John II. No, not the epic John II of the Byzantine Empire. We're talking about the poor soul that was given no chance because of the mistakes of Richard the Lionheart. With England becoming weaker and weaker, the French winning some stunning victories and taking all the English held land in Northern France, or as I like to call it, Southern England, and the country being bankrupted by Dick the house cat, you can see why John started to get a little bit desperate. He sent a delegation to the leader of the Almohads, Muhammad al-Nasir, offering to put England at the disposal of the Caliph in return for their protection, even going so far as to offer to convert to Islam himself. Oh, then I mentioned King John was excommunicated. So why didn't it happen? Why didn't we see a Muslim England today? Well, al-Nasir was said to be so disgusted by the groveling, he just sent the envoys away. Great power move from an empire that would collapse not that long after. So on that slightly sad note, did I ever tell you about the time that 